What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another HTV video and well, uh, <laughs> they got me, man. They really got me by the noose. And by me, I'm talking about my wallet. My financial advisor is definitely not gonna be impressed by this video, but guys, they've managed to pull me in by releasing something they honestly probably did just a little bit too early at this point guys i've got a degree you know a master's degree in clown activity but that's okay because guess what i'm even dressed for the occasion the purple yes, and the blue yes, you see how galactic this looks yes. pay attention to that guys take a look at what they dropped in the pack market today they're calling it origin packs guys and it is going to be the very first time that they're going to be debuting end game cards y'all thought goat cards in 2k21 were crazy take a look at this ladies and gentlemen i know we're skipping over all these invincibles clay thompson's card art actually looks crazy but it's at the point where invincibles aren't even the card to chase anymore that's at the point we're in right now in the year it's only mid-june and invincibles are no longer the best card you can pull that's right guys we got a little dark matter de rosen that looks fire invincible paul george i definitely want that but the card everyone's gonna be hunting the most today is this dark matter 99 overall end game magic Johnson. For those of you guys wondering, HTV, what's the difference between GOAT cards last year and this? Well, not only do they have 99 everything, not only does it have 80 Hall of Fame badges, but on top of that, they gave them glitchy animations. Magic Johnson no longer has his own jumper. He's got the base three jumper with a Steph Curry upper. Yeah. It, one of the most broken jumpers in the game now and on top of that there's a bunch of other dark matters i think there's a total of like what 10 or 11 dark matters that you can pull today and so many of these dark matters now are going to be considered trolls like i don't even really want the hero versions of these cards because at the end of the day the one thing we want is endgame magic he is likely going to be going for 5 million mt and in today's video i'm going to be spending a ton of vc trying to pull the very first endgame card that's in packs. Boys and girls, 900,000 VC once again has been secured. I told myself that I was going to open packs with MT today, but here's the thing. If I don't pull magic, I'm going to need to get him somehow to get you guys a video. So I can't risk using up all my MT. 198k VC per pack. And it looks like it's a guaranteed player, but it's not a guaranteed player from the set. Either way, this origin set, I'm ready to dance. Let's get right into it. And as you guys know, when we start these pack openings, we like to talk about what's happening in the NBA. Obviously, what happened last night was absolutely crazy because Steph Curry is now not only a four-time NBA champion, but he's now secured himself a finals MVP. This is gonna make media super crazy because not only is Kevin Durant gonna start to get roasted more because here's the thing, Kevin Durant left the Warriors and they still kept winning. That goes to show you just how crazy of a franchise Golden State already was and I'm sure you guys are gonna be hearing that all over a bunch of media outlets. It was nice to see Andrew Wiggins succeed. Here's the thing about Andrew Wiggins. This man went from being an NBA bust to being the second best player on a playoff finals team that then won the championship. I'm seeing a little shake right here. It looks like there's actually no more pink diamonds in packs, so that's actually super neat. Nice little Galaxy Opal Jeremy Lin. I haven't even had a chance to take a look at the stats of half these cards, but uh, yeah, man, Andrew Wiggins, from NBA number one overall pick to bust to being the second player on that Golden State team that had Klay Thompson, Jordan Poole, Draymond Green, and the craziest part is he put Jason Tatum in prison an all nba first team player this year put in prison by andrew wiggins and of course he was an insane rebounder hit some timely buckets i mean i'm very happy for the guy but what's going to be the most crazy is the fact that steph curry officially has four rings this is where that debate for the greatest point guard of all time really starts to get interesting as we see another galaxy opal shake right there it's kind of nuts that we're at the point in the year already where galaxy opal shakes are the lowest thing we can see on the bright side no more stupid pink diamond shakes so you know what i'll take it welcome to the team galaxy opal gordon hayward see it's times like this where i wish the card art matched the player because if we saw a young gordon hayward i feel like that would just look cleaner but 
y'all let me know how you feel about that but uh yeah man the nba is in a crazy state and the nutty thing is this was the year to beat the Warriors. Like, this was the year for the Celtics, I feel, because I don't think they're going to be better next year. But the Golden State Warriors are only going to get better next year. Half their team was full of undrafted and a bunch of rookies as well. You got some people that are definitely going to get paid, but... This was the chance to win because they didn't have any crazy size. Their biggest player was Kevon Looney, who was standing at 6'10". Don't get me wrong, amazing rebounder, played amazing defense as well. There is our first Dark Matter shake of the night. But what I was trying to say is, they're going to have James Wiseman next year. They could potentially trade for even more pieces to get things done. And now that Andrew Wiggins has a ring, he's going to be playing more confidence than ever. We all know there's those players where once they win a championship, it feels like this weight has been lifted off their shoulders and they can be absolutely unleashed. I'm very scared that that's what Andrew Wiggins is going to be, man. A little bit late in his career, but you know what? Better than nothing. At the end of the day, I'm happy for the guy and we got a Galaxy Opal? Lol. Okay, so I'm glad that dynamic ratings doesn't shake. So when you pull a Galaxy Opal before, it doesn't shake anymore. Oh my goodness, thank you 2K. We will never get trolled by dynamic rating shakes again. Anyways, there it is. That beautiful dark matter glow. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I don't even want Magic Johnson, so I'm not gonna ask for him. All I want is any invincible card or DeMar DeRozan. Honestly, to kick things off, I'll take anything because if dark matters fly out of these packs, I'll be a happy camper. Eastern Conference, small forward. Oh, I thought that was gonna be Paul George. John Havlicek, you are going to be trolling me, man. This guy was an absolute demigod in 2K21. Haven't had the chance to look at his stats, but I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, he's moving devious at this point in the year. A lot of people like to write cards off because they're like 6'5 or 6'4, but here's the thing. NBA 2K22 has been the most balanced game when it comes to height. Now, I know tall players obviously dominate in the post because mashing is so OP, but I meant in terms of running whoever you want. I felt like I could run any player in the game throughout the whole year, and I could somewhat have fun with the game. Obviously, the gameplay wasn't in the best state, but y'all know what I mean. Like, we're in June, and I'm still running Invincible Dwayne Wade at point guard, who's at 6'4". In previous years, you needed a Ben Simmons, or a Magic, or a LeBron at point guard, or you were somehow getting absolutely cooked but being able to see all these players hold their own on both ends of the floor in my opinion is super super cool already on pack 13 here and at least we've gotten a dark matter in a box if i could see at least two per box that would be ideal ask and you shall receive man definitely love to see it so things are off to a much better start than they were before there's that glow i see the mavs logo right beside it for those of you guys that also don't know there is an end game dirk nowitzki in the game for those of you guys that collected all 4,000 cards all you've got to do is score 53 points and end game dirk is yours so definitely expect a gameplay later today but uh for now guys Let's go ahead and let's flip this bad boy over and let's see what's coming. Western Conference, center number 15. That one's going to be DeMarcus Cousins. Okay, so we're getting all the easier dark matters out of the way. Not complaining. Plus, I think a lot of people forget that DeMarcus Cousins in his prime on the Kings was arguably the best center in the league at one point. But we keep it moving here, man. So one thing I want to ask you guys is where do you rank Steph Curry all time now? You don't have to have him as your greatest point guard of all time, but I feel like at this point, we can all agree that he's a top 10 player of all time. The question is, who are you taking off the top 10 list? Because this is where it gets crazy. I love how I pulled Scotty Barnes and Rui Hachimura in the same pack right there, but I don't know, man. Top 10 lists are about to get crazy. Whoever's arguing who the best point guard of all time is is going to be crazy. Now, in my opinion, Magic Johnson is still the greatest playmaker in NBA history. I mean, when you think about a natural point guard, Magic Johnson still got it. But Steph Curry's probably going to go down at the end of his career as the greatest player to play at that point guard position. Even though in the old days, he'd probably be at the shooting guard spot. Doesn't really matter, but though, we are really witnessing so much greatness in our generation of basketball. I mean, you think about the Warriors and they've had one crazy of a dynasty from the 73 and 9 season obviously they lost but now they've had four championships with Steph Dre and Clay they made five finals in a row I mean yeah that team is gonna go down in history as one 
of the greatest as we see yet another Dark Matter. This feels so good. Dark Matters are actually flying out of packs today, and that's kind of what I was expecting once they decided to add GOAT cards. If this right here is Endgame Magic Johnson, I'm going to be giving away a million MT to a random subscriber in the comments. Flip that boy over. Let's get down to business. Eastern Conference, small forward, please. Number 13! Let's go first invincible pull of the day! One of the few players I wanted, Invincible Paul George. Oh, this pack opening is already a dub. It's already a bigger dub than like my last five pack openings. Before this Paul George, it took me a month to pull an Invincible, which ended up being Anthony Davis. But Paul George, y'all know, I love this card every single year in my team. Three Dark Matters in a 20 box though, I mean, I can't be mad at it. So one thing I do want to quickly check is how many magics have been pulled and how much he is already going for. So y'all see, man, 80 Hall of Fame badges. Absolutely nuts. I need this card. Let's go right back to the packs, man. We definitely not done. Off to a good start, though. It's looking like if I, you know, end up spending 2 million VC, I definitely won't be as angry as I would have been in previous pack openings. But on to box number two. If we see three Dark Matters in a box again, I will be a very happy camper. But we're going to be kicking it off with a pink diamond. And like I said, man, there's no pink diamonds in boxes. Since it was Jason Tatum, though, Celtics fans, how do you feel about Jason Tatum? Because... I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure if it's confirmed yet, but prior to game six, Jason Tatum was on pace for the worst efficiency in fourth quarter NBA playoff history. In the last 75 years of the NBA being a thing, Jason Tatum would have the worst fourth quarter efficiency ever, which is just crazy to think because you know Kobe Bryant was his idol and everything and we all know when it came to Kobe that boy was definitely clutch and he was getting things done so to now see Jason Tatum be the exact opposite is tough but who knows man this might be that point in his career as we get that dark matter there once again where he you know pulls a LeBron James in Dallas because obviously when I saw LeBron do his thing in Dallas I was hurt inside I was like come on LeBron not like this so maybe this is Jason Tatum's moment and he's only gonna learn and become a demon moving forward at least that's what we're hoping that's what I'm hoping for Celtics fans because man Jalen Brown was really having to carry that whole series basically and also Jalen Brown needs to work on his ball handling I saw that man bounce the ball off his leg way more times than I would have liked to but ladies and gentlemen we're already at the fourth dark matter of the day we've already pulled invincible Paul George I mean I'll take an invincible Tim Duncan but you know why I'm here 2k take my money and give me the magic I got the magic in me what that is not a magic that is a guy from the Bulls Dark Matter 99 overall, Lonzo Ball. That card art goes so crazy. I, I'm really messing with the whole card art this year. I know the themes in the backgrounds have basically been the same throughout, but the whole comic vibe of them, I don't know. I'm just really liking it a lot. I was not expecting Lonzo to get a Dark Matter Bulls card, but uh, hopefully this guy can be healthy for the next season because I know the Bulls were definitely missing him a ton and his defensive ability in the playoffs this year, but... Man, next year really is going to be a crazy year in the NBA, especially if every team is healthy. It's really, it really might go down as one of the best NBA seasons. And this year, in my opinion, was already one of the best all-around NBA seasons and playoff combinations. So, NBA fans, we, we're really up right now. Life is good to be an NBA fan of really any team. Second Dark Matter of the box, and we're not even halfway through. So, yeah, Dark Matters are going to be flying out of here today, ladies and gentlemen. We might break the record for Dark Matter pulls today. Hey, I'm here for it. Western Conference! Oh, I almost lost it. Whoo! I'm sure this DeMarcus Cousins is probably gonna end up being like 30K. On the bright side though, it does feel like, you know, the Galactic shirt is working. Rate this shirt out of 10, guys. Personally, I I'm vibing with the whole purple and blue color. 
and it's just very fitting here. It would be even more fitting if we saw an invincible endgame Magic Johnson, but it doesn't look like that is going to be happening. On to box numero three, and here's the thing. This is obviously more on the expensive side when it comes to these packs, because they're 198k VC a box, but I feel like as you get closer to the end of the year, packs are more and more worth it, because you're more likely to pull a card that's actually going to be worth the value. I'm not telling you guys to open packs whatsoever. Y'all have seen me in my previous videos. I always tell you guys to keep away. Let me do all the pack openings. Let me go through all the struggles. Let me be the one to waste my money so you guys can see beautiful pack opening enjoyment. I need y'all to be, you know, saving your money. Might as well wait for 2K23 at this point because like I said, man, we're in June. The next 2K is like two and a half months away, but man, I would just like to see one more Invincible. If I could see that end game card though, I will literally start twerking. I promise you 2K. Yo, can I please at least see one? There's no chance we're going to hold 20 without one Dark Matter, right? There might be a chance we go a whole 20. Bro, as soon as I compliment this game, it decides to be absolute dog water again. Oh, this is tragic. Especially because the Dark Matters that I'm pulling right now probably don't even go for 100k anyways. The only good card we pulled so far is that Invincible Paul George, which, you know, don't get me wrong, I am super happy about, but... Can we get a Dark Matter to end this box? Let okay, thank you. Thank you. I thought we were gonna go a whole box without a Dark Matter. I see the Raptors playbook, that means this might be the Dark Matter DeRozan, which I wouldn't be mad about because that man is basically Tracy McGrady, just a little bit better with more sigs. Boom! There's that beautiful glow, man. We're definitely getting spoiled with it today. Sixth Dark Matter of the day already. Please be magic. Hey, Western! Stupid. Oh my! I gotta stop freaking out. Every time I see the Western logo, I start freaking out. I gotta stop it. Nope. We're not going to react from now on until we see what position it's actually going to be. Because I believe that is already our third DeMarcus Cousins of the day. He's got to be going for like 20 KMT. Y'all can see on our fourth box already, 4 out of 20, 420, we're already seeing another Dark Matter shake. It actually somewhat feels like I'm getting my money's worth for the first time doing a pack opening. Boom! There it is. Now I know some of these Dark Matters likely going for like 30k MT, but it's just the principle of it, man. When I pay money, this is what I want to see most of the time. Now again, guys, do not base my pack luck on what you should do with your money. Take care of your finances. Let me be the dumb one. Shake it for magic. Eastern, small forward? Nope. Number 17, that once again is going to be Havlicek. 2K is looking for good ways to troll me today because... I'm still yet to get DeRozan. We did get Paul George though, so troll me with as many Havlicek's as you want, but when I see that Western Conference, I need that Magic Johnson. This box is already off to a much better start though. Pack number 16 out of 20, that's usually my lucky number, but honestly, so far this year, it has not been my lucky number once. Hoping to see one more Dark Matter at the end of this box, that'd be super nice, but again, as long as I just see one per box, I'll be less angry. I would, you know, prefer to see an invincible Bill Russell or an invincible Tim Duncan, but we all can only get so lucky. I, they really set the standard with that first box I opened. There we go. Second Dark Matter. So the last box is now officially the worst one because we only pulled one. And this one we pulled two. This is already what? Number seven? Number eight? I don't even know at this point. I'm not keeping count. I just want to see Western. Oh! I say I'm not gonna freak out, and I freak out every time! Oh my goodness, nah, seeing Western Conference is literally the worst thing. I, I can't see any more DeMarcus Cousins. I know 2K is doing this to so many people, but uh, so far, man, what, seven invincible poles with only 900,000 VC, so... 2 million might end up being a bunch of dark matters. I still do want to see if we can, you know, pull that Magic Johnson because that is the goal at the end of the day, but I got a feeling I'm going to regret opening 10 boxes. They have easily been the worst for me so far this year, but miracles happen, man. Getting one dark matter out of 10 is already just as good as getting two in a 20. There is that beautiful glow that they've just been spoiling us with. Number eight, Magic Johnson, if you're the greatest point guard of all time, you're gonna prove it to me. Come out of this pack right now and prove it to me. Come on, Eastern Conference nope. point guard. That's number two. Who is this again? Oh, Lonzo Ball. Big ball of bread, stand up. Lonzo Ball has entered the building, ladies and gentlemen. I do wonder though, 
How does it feel when you're the older brother and your younger brother ends up being better than you in the NBA? Because I know at the end of the day, it must be all love, your family, everybody's eating, but that's low-key got to bother you inside, right? Because, you know, when it comes to Seth and Steph, Steph is the older brother, so he is better. It just makes sense, but I don't know, man. Maybe it's just my ego, but deep down, if I had a younger brother in the same league as something as me and was just clearly better than me while wearing my jersey number at the same time i'd be so pressed man but i think lonzo ball's still gonna have himself a solid career Lamelo's probably gonna take yet another leap next year so like i said before man the nba is in such a good place and i can't wait to see where a bunch of these players go especially scotty barnes i would love to see one more dark matter shake here though to forgive the fact that we still don't have an invincible scotty barnes in my team and that man won rookie of the year 2k but we're probably going to be seeing them next week with the next packs two dark matters in a 10 box it might be the vibe magic johnson i would say some other things referencing magic but they'd probably be a little bit offensive for the internet show me the magic eastern shooting guard i will take it number 10 we are still yet to see the man Y'all know it's the franchise I love to show love always. From the six holographic DeMar DeRozan. The holographic versions of these cards go so hard. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. Loaded up another 900,000 VC because 2K is actually being good to me today. I almost want to go in for another 10 because... We got two Dark Matters in 10 packs. That's absolutely elite, but who knows, man? I forgot Invincible Clay Thompson is in these packs. So Western Conference does not mean just Magic or DeMarcus. It could also be Clay Thompson. But at this point, man, it is Dark Matter shake or death, man, because Galaxy Opals don't shake. I just want to see the little shaky shake. So as we open packs here, one thing I forgot to show you guys is take a look at this, man. Now, obviously, you don't see me right there, but... I actually made it as a trading card in these boxes, man. There's a Henry the Blasian card in there, and guess what? I've already opened three of these boxes, and I have not managed to pull myself once. I'm trying to invest in myself here. I pulled Jidel, I pulled the Professor, there's a Christopher London. We got a little Cash Nasty card here as well, but I have not managed to pull an HTB base card. Why did they make me rare? I'm not even that popular when it comes to content creation. I just wanted to, you know, collect my own card so I could be like, you know what? You can increase the value of this if you keep working harder. So that was going to be a nice little motivator for me. Either way, there is what? Dark Matter Glow number nine? Number 10? I don't know. But it's lucky number seven. Come on, Western. Oh my goodness. If I see another DeMarcus Cousins, I'm going to freak out. This reminds me of Mo Bamba last week. Mo Bamba was just flying out them things, and now it's DeMarcus Cousins' turn. I I'm over it, man. I'm over it. This makes me happy. I'll take my glasses off because I want to witness the magic in 4K Ultra 160 frames per second HD. I already know it's not going to be another DeMarcus, right, 2K? <laughs> Eastern. Point guard number two. I am so tired of the big baller brand. All these people I'm pulling don't even have cool songs, man. At least last week I could be like, you know, I got hoes. Call it. One thing I've caught on to though is um, 2K got me once again. Y'all see that beautiful dark matter glow, right? Well, so far we've only pulled one good dark matter glow that was elite, and that was Paul George. I gotta see Bill Russell. Oh, Tim Duncan is Western Conference too. Why was I thinking Magic was the only Western Conference card? Flip this bad boy over. Come on, Western Center. No! This man has zero hoes calling. Zero. Not one. He just be yelling and getting technical fouls. I don't need this. There it is, man. Fast forward through the 10 box. The rest of it was garbage. Here we are in a 20 box, which up until pack number 12 was uh, absolute garbage. Flip all. Y'all see that dark matter glow? Ladies and gentlemen, this is that point where we simply must pray. Specifically to an OG my team god. Better known as Mr. Cash Nasty. If this is anybody but Demarcus... I'll be a happy man, I'll praise him, but I swear to God if this is DeMarcus again, I just might start chewing on this card. 
Eastern Conference point guard. It's going to be once again another Lonzo Ball. Lonzo and DeMarcus are just flying out of these packs, bro. It's, it's honestly crazy. So already just about halfway through this next 20 and there's the next Dark Matter Glow. Okay, 2K, you're starting to ease up on the glows. I need to see more. Less DeMarcus Cousins, less Lonzo Ball, more Klay Thompson. The man just won a championship. I need his card. In fact, I'm putting this MMG card on the line. If this is DeMarcus or Lonzo, I promise you, I will rip MMG in half. I'll do it, Western. Sensory up. Yup, look at this, 2K. You did this. You did this. My boy MMG got cut in half. And it's all because of you. This right here is the final 20 box with VC. If I don't see a Dark Matter shake in this first pack, I'm gonna have to sacrifice my brother. I, I love my guy Jadel, but I, I might have to sacrifice them all because of 2K. They made me do it, Jadel. I hope you forgive me, my brother. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Bruh. See what happens? when horse HTB comes to town. Dark Matter Glow right in the middle. Once again on 420. This is the one that I need, bro. What? What? No! When I tell y'all I'm so tired of seeing this man, like I can't even get a holographic version of him. I stopped keeping count of Dark Matter pulls because at this point he doesn't count as a Dark Matter pull. Horse HTB is down in the slumps right now. Ew! Hold on. Wait, I didn't even see that I pulled another Dark Matter right there. There we go. Come on, man. I got the horses in the bag. Horse stock is attached. No, 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 no. I'm literally done. I'm not even going to react to Dark Matters anymore. I'm getting, I'm literally getting trolled right now. Oh, I can, I... We just got back-to-back -back Dark Matters. We just pulled three Dark Matters in, what, four packs? Because pack number four, pack number six, and now pack number seven. Please, this has, there's no way we got three Demarcuses, right? Oh, oh, who is that? Is that the Invincible? Is that the Invincible? Is Horse HTB finally winning? Let's go! Finally! It was Western and it wasn't Demarcus. Thank you, Tim Duncan. Mr. Fundamental. Mr. Funda Fondle My Balls. What? And just like that, boys, we've automatically hit reset on the vibes. Three Dark Matters in 10 packs is actually kind of nuts. I'm not going to lie to you, but like I said, it was a bunch of DeMarcus Cousins. They don't count. I might have to throw that horse mask back on. I put that mask on for two seconds, and we got three Dark Matters in four packs. Is it the vibe? It might be the vibe. Bro, is this a magical mask? Do I have to wear this for the rest of my life? There it is, once again. Four Dark Matters in 120 box. I only ask for one man. Wait, who is this? Is that the hero version of... That's gotta be the hero version of Tim Duncan, right? Yes, sir, he's got no logo on him. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that card art actually goes so hard. <laughs> All right, so that right there was the end of the 20 box. Now opening some singles, trying to see if we can get lucky. Nope, not Gordon Hay It's literally so hot in here. I can't do it. I, I literally cannot breathe inside that thing. It it's way too much. It's like I am ge I'm getting pack luck, but at the cost of my own fresh air. It's crazy. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. So far, these singles actually kind of suck. I think I had a better time opening a box and of course it's when i say that that we see a dark matter i already know it's gonna be demarcus cousins you know what i'll close my eyes i i don't even want to see because i can just tell it's demarcus is it demarcus i'm opening my eyes sacramento kings hold on hold on hold on if i see western conference i'm closing my eyes eastern shooting guard no oh ah oh, clay thompson is not in the eastern conference Okay, so all the gems are in the West. Unfortunately, it's just all, you know, 
DeMarcus Cousins, but I'll take a little DeMar DeRozan. Again, we always show love. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't ever get rid of my holographic one. All right, boys, here we are with another Dark Matter, baby. <laughs> I need to be something. I, I really don't know how many we've pulled at this point. Western Conference, bro. No, this is not funny, bro. This is literally not funny anymore. Somebody counts out in this video how many of this Bedingus here we've already pulled. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. I beg. I'm so tired of standing up for Big Baller Brand. I'm literally just gonna stay sitting down, bro. <laughs> Please, anybody but Demarcus. Finally, man. It took us so many packs to see another Dark Matter, but ladies and gentlemen, this is it. I've already manifested it in my mind. There's no chance this is gonna be Demarcus Cousins. Magic Johnson. Welcome. Nope. Oh, it's Havlicek. <laughs> I'm a clown. I'm a clown.